I am back with a PSVR title of Moss. So, um, a few things to get out of the way, first of all. Uh, obviously, this stream is for us over at Square XO. So, the website is squareXO.co.uk. We've got plenty of reviews, opinion posts, news, stuff like that. Uh, the Twitter feed is twitter.com forward slash square underscore XO. And, um, yeah, we also have a podcast uh, on iTunes and Podbean. Just search for Square XO. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, welcome to Moss. Uh, my name's Rob uh, from Square XO, and I'm about to jump straight in. I've not played this yet. I've played the demo, uh, but I've not played the actual full game yet. So let's see what the game is like. So if I remember correctly, we just pull it open. The sound is amazing. I've got my headphones on, my Turtle Beach headphones, um, and the bass is so, so punchy. Right, so there's a little butterfly. Moss. Your time has come at last, dear reader. Oh. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. Aww. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Yes, please. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. Oh no. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The king's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the sprite champion at the mire's edge. Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. Oh, this story's really sad or it's like a Pixar movie. Ah, here we are. Back where the demo that began. Hero albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Come on. Here she is. Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk <laughs> was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. Wow. Oh, 
<laughs> this looks so much better than the demo. This has to be one of the best VR games I've played so far. Oh my god. Come on. It's gone. I don't know what that was that she just picked up. She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the beings silently peering down at her. Oh, it's me. Hello. <laughs> Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close and night would follow. Oh, it's me. Okay. Right, yeah, so before I carry on, this is amazing. Um, if you've played the demo of Moss, um, this is a lot better than the demo of Moss. Um, oh my god. It's so clear. Um, it just looks so good. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what's happened. Like Recently, the VR stuff has been so clear. It's not been blurry or anything from my side. So I don't know if Sony's done something in one of the updates to make it a lot clearer. Um, but yeah, this game looks amazing. Obviously from your side, I think you're getting a 720p video. Um, but obviously from my side, it's a lot different. So we'll see if the story progresses the same way. It looks like it is doing so far. So I've obviously played the first 10 minutes or so if I have a demo, so I know what to do here. Pull this out. <laughs> oh, that's cool. She gives you a little thumbs up when you get it right. Oh my god, this is amazing. If you have PSVR, then I highly recommend you buy this. It's only £25 as well. Uh, this is new as well, by the way. Uh, but yeah, it's only £25 in the UK. I think it's $30. And that's such an amazing price. That's why I need to do something with this, don't I? She's saying that's right. Is it right? How's that right? She can't get up there. Unless I have to come back around this way. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Oh. This way. <laughs> Alright, okay. <laughs> I didn't know she could do an Assassin's Creed across there. Oh, so this is a new area. This wasn't in the, um, the demo. I just can't jump up there. I want to get down. How do we get down? There we go. Oh, do we now bring this back? I love, <laughs> I love her jumps. It's so cute. We, oh, I want to knock them over. What's that? Oh, I can't knock them over. Can I grab them? No. Okay. Let's, let's journey on. Okay, so that's like way off in the distance for me. It, it really does feel like I'm actually sat right here. Alright, Quill. Oh, we can grab a backpack. For some reason. 
Uh, what's down there? Yeah. The one thing to remember, Quill doesn't like carts. If you put a cart in front of her, she's going to destroy it. I just like how you can interact with stuff as well by just moving in front of it like all the leaves and that move when you get close I can destroy stuff as well by doing that uh, I'm guessing I've got to get up there I don't know what these scrolls are that I'm collecting. I'm sure it would tell me soon enough. Can I ring the bell? Oh no, I've lost track of it. Um, Alright, just literally pull open the door. Fair enough. She was limping a little bit then. I hope she didn't hurt herself when she fell off that big jump. Oh wow, there's a, a mouse guard. Hello? Hello? Talk to me. Oh, it's, it's telling me off for playing with my sword. I can't do anything with him, so that's fine. Oh wow. Does the water react on me? No. Can she jump in? <gasps> oh. Okay, rule to remember. Quill can't swim. <laughs> so don't jump in the water. Let's try that again. This is great. This though. Look at it. It's like a little village. There's people all around me. Can we go in there? Tranquil, where's your house? Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry I've said wow quite a lot, but wow. This game is so good. Seriously though, if you have VI, you need to get this game. This is the game to own. Hello. Oh my god, it actually waved to me. <laughs> now, was that because I waved? Hello. No. Oh, there was me thinking it could see me. Right, there's a scroll up there that I want to get. There's a bridge here. How am I going to get over there? Here. Oh, you. Too bad. Oh, I can stop that. It's um, lighting up blue, so I should be able to grab it with my controller. So we'll do this bit first. And then we should be able to control it a bit better. Is that a pair of underpants? <laughs> <laughs> there must be a reason for being able to go up here. Right, now is this where I need to... ...grab it? Alright, I need one of... ...that there. Oh no, what are you doing? 
Right, I messed that up there. But I know what I'm doing now, so that's fine. Let's just go all the way back. to stop this when there's a platform there. There we go. Thanks to her new friend, Bill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. Did we? Oh, it's a, a squirrel. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, uncle. he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Hello, uncle. You, you look a bit like Squirrel. Uh, I don't think that's my uncle. I do get very Zelda when I um, go around cutting up all the bushes. Yeah. Let's see what the inside of this building is and how we actually fit in here. Oh, we don't. Okay. Oh, that's what we're collecting. So, see, it does look like a pair of underpants. <laughs> Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when there Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Hello. Uncle, Uncle, there's something you have to see. Oh, she's got a voice. Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. Oh, so they're all by the same voice actor. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? Roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Oh dear. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous. Oh dear. He said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Yep, I want Quill. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety, and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. Oh. Is this another reference to Zelda with uh, the uncle grabbing a sword and going out and leaving her behind? I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Clearly we're not going to listen to him. We're going to go on an adventure. We're going to go out and see what's out there. Oh, wow, we're inside. Okay. Oh, my God, now it's like I'm at a theater show <laughs> with a whole stage in front of me. This is so cool. Hey, kid. Kid. <laughs> it's Nuffy. Wake up. Hey, listen. Hey, kid, over here. I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick too. We're going to need them. 
Oh dear. Quill now, called out. Hey, starving, wait. Now something tells me that's not a good thing. Like, can't we just go to bed and just wait for the uncle? I'm just gonna sit here and wait for the uncle to come home. Okay, if we must. Um. Quill had never met a starving. Oh, we came up here, didn't we? Stories. They often meddled in the lives of mortals, and when they appeared, mischief followed. Told you it was probably bad. <laughs> Hello, you little, little bugger. <laughs> it just got a twig in half. Passage through the eastern gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. I need to go. Who demanded answers? Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? Oh, this bit looks a bit familiar. Is this Probably a bit your uncle's heading for the, the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of? Yeah, I'm not a giant. I can pull this forward, can I push it? Yeah, there's a hole down there. Okay, I don't know what that pink stuff is there. Is it magic that that's put? This way, kid. Urge the starving. Okay. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. <laughs> She's telling me to be quiet. Okay, so that's kind of Paul. Hmm. I've got a feeling this isn't where the uncle went. Oh wow, there's uh, some days back there. Some proper sized ones. See, I thought mice could swim, but Quill can't. Is that a thing? Yeah. It's a good thing with VI, you can like look around the corners and that to see where things are. Well, that's an axe. Okay. I was scared the crap out of me that. Hello. Oh, there's a thing over there. How am I going to get that? That hole. 
Yeah, go away. Mind your own business. There's a lot of um, armor and weapons around here. I want that. Uh, yes. Okie dokie. I don't know what collecting all these does, but I'm sure it's going to be something good in the end. Whee! 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 <laughs> Hello! Um, that way. Okay, there's the uncle's um, squirrel. So maybe it was right. Maybe it does know where the uncle's Just gone. Just on the other side is the mire. The starving assured her. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. A good chance. See, means a chance that he's not. Bye. But if the uncle's over there, why was Raft over here? Hmm. Here she comes. Come on. This is so different to the that? demo. The starving seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. I'll try not to. As long as I avoid the water, I should be okay. Right, so there's fawns. Ah, oh, sh shit in hell. She said, don't die on her. And look at the state of you. You want me to press both of them? Uh, I think that was supposed to happen to teach you how to bring her back to life. So whenever she gets hurt, you can just go and it'll bring him back to life. Okay, okay. There's no hidden scrolls, is there? Right, my hand didn't actually go over there just then. It was the um, traffic. Yeah, I've seen them in the demo. You can pick them up and drop them. Can destroy them, so that's good. Um, I'm fine. Um, huh. There we go. Why would it want you to destroy... Oh, move out of the way, you. Can't move it. There's nothing over there. There's nothing up here from what I can see. Unless there's something... Um... Yeah, I wasn't supposed to go over there. <laughs> oh, I've got to do it all again. God damn it. I was exploring. See, does it... It lets you climb up there, so normally if you can climb somewhere, it means there's something there, but this game's being tricky. It's um, put climbing places everywhere, even if you don't do anything. Can I jump across? No. Yeah, yeah. 
Right, so let's do this properly this time. Now, I love this as a PSVR game. Um, I imagine it would probably work as a non-VR game as well, but because it's been built for VR, it just looks so good. And this is from the demo now, I think. That looks like the door from the demo. So I think we're about to get to the... Oh, go away. I think we're about to get to the um, jump scare part. <laughs> Be interesting. Oh, hello. I can kill these by grabbing them, can't I? Oh no, I get it. You hold them, and then you smack them. That's what you do. I thought I could kill it myself, but... I see, you grab it. Oh! How do we roll? I'm sure there was a roll. Yeah, for some reason I can't roll. Um, I'm sure there was a roll button. Unless she's not learned it yet. Oh wait, what's that? Oh, did you see that? She ducks down when she walks in. <laughs> That's so cool. A whisper echoed through the trees. Fought like someone who has stolen our champion's power. 